A resolution reboot for your workout. We are one week into 2023, and this morning there are some simple steps to staying motivated in the new year. Rena Roy hit the gym for us to find out how you do that. <laughs> Good morning again, Rena. Hey, good morning to you guys. Yeah, we all know how difficult it can be to keep up with those New Year's resolutions, right? So we worked out with three different fitness experts to find out their secrets to success. We all know the old saying, new year, new you. For millions across the country, heading into 2023 means heading to the gym. As a trainer, what do you see January 1st? We see an influx of people who are interested, you know, in getting fit. Um, I do see that they do tend to taper out. Because sticking to those fitness goals is often easier said than done. So here at GMA, we set out on our own fitness journey to find out how everyone can aim for a little more consistency this time that'll hopefully last all year round. First up, berries, a high intensity interval training class. Let's do two more, a little slower. As we switched from a bike to weights and back again, I quickly learned it's no joke, but it's the group atmosphere that keeps you going. Tell me a little bit about the benefits of a group setting with people around and learning from each other, the motivation, the competition. There's such a big sense of community here. There's a lot of mental health benefits to being in a group. Joining that group with a friend can be helpful for some moral support. And remember, you can always go at your own pace. Don't be afraid to try something new. Speaking of trying something new. Up, tap, up, excellent. At our next stop, stepping out of our comfort zone and into a ballet studio to work out with former ballerina Mary Helen Bowers. Lift from the wrists and come up. These so-called swan arms might look familiar. Bowers trained Natalie Portman for her Oscar-winning role in Black Swan. She's also the founder and CEO of online workout phenomenon Ballet Beautiful. People are really inspired by ballet dancers and their strength and Ballet Beautiful gives people a way to access that world without ever having to step foot in a dance studio. The program may be a hit amongst Victoria's Secret Angels, but these ballet inspired moves aren't just for models. Whoa. <laughs> this full body workout is about strengthening and lengthening for all levels. We have members who are, you know, from 18 up into their 70s using our workouts. You don't need any experience. Giving something new a go not only helps sculpt different parts of your body, but it can also inspire you to keep showing up. The biggest thing is just get go for it, get your body moving, try something new and, you know, really find exercise that isn't about punishing your body. It doesn't have to be a chore. But of course, chores are a part of daily life, and it turns out some of them can also get your heart rate up. I like to Swiffer. Um, you're moving your body. I'm Swiffer, and I break a sweat when I Swiffer, okay? It's like, it's work. It's a workout. It's a workout. So get that Swiffer out, Swiffer <laughs> and mop. Core nice and tight. Strength and conditioning coach Kehinde Anjoran tells us incorporating movement into your everyday routine is key. Keep it attainable to your lifestyle. Do something that you enjoy. That's the only way it's going to be sustainable. Even simple changes like taking the stairs instead of the elevator or standing instead of sitting while working from home can help make a difference. And at the gym, starting small helps build confidence. For example, implementing modifications like getting up and sitting back down in a chair instead of doing a traditional squat. It doesn't require that much range of motion. You can also use a wall for support while doing lunges. You're gonna feel this all throughout your quads. As you build strength, you can slowly level up. But Anjoran says, take it step by step, starting with a short list of goals. Your top three things that you wanna achieve. Start with the most um, important thing to you on that list. And I would say make it a habit for 30 days and then move on down that list. And the most important thing, give yourself grace along the way. It's okay to fall off because it's not a linear path. It oscillates and things happen. Give yourself that room to adjust and be human. Um, and when you fall off, just get right back into it. Just some great words to live by there. And of course, don't forget the power of walking. Even just getting more steps per day can make a really big difference. Guys. Absolutely. Swiffer in a sweat. Yeah. That's my motto for 2023. We did more than one workout. I was mm -hmm. like, oh. I like yeah, it. Yeah, can like we keep it. having Rita work out for us? <laughs> yep, the uvulus, your upper dorsum is the whole thing. Thank you, Rita. Appreciate it. <laughs> well, hey,
there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.